So I started recording today for a chaos coaching and I realized right before we started, I didn't have my hat and my whistle. What was I thinking? What's good everybody and we're back with another chaos coaching and as always today we're gonna be breaking down our gameplay on the offensive and the defensive side of the ball going through our thought process maybe why we called a certain play why we made a certain adjustment or called a certain route made a certain hot route all those things we'll be breaking down today in depth and then also on top of that I wanted to focus on abilities today I feel like abilities are really important to help take your team to the next level to make sure you have the right abilities both on offense and on defense and if you've been watching my videos you've seen I've been cycling through different defensive abilities almost every single video so I think I have a good uh, feel for what I like and what I don't like so I'll be going through those today maybe you'll see what you might like to use on your own team see what you think is good or what you think is not quite as good so definitely something I wanted to focus on today we've already gone through in depth in our lineup the past couple videos so i don't want to go too in depth with that we'll show a couple changes and go from there but i definitely wanted to focus on the abilities then we'll get into the game so let's take a look now for our first pickup we did pick up barry sanders the reason behind that was because of the receiving abilities that barry was able to get coming out of the backfield now barry's not the only one who gets those i'm, I'm pretty sure the full christian mccaffrey and the full work done can both get them as well there may be others but we'll go more in depth on those abilities when we get to the abilities for the entire team we also picked up marvin harrison that was really just because of the speed that you were able to get on top of being able to get slot apprentice, outside apprentice, and routes initiation. I felt like those were pretty important on top of the speed. So that's why we got Marvin Harrison. We did pick up Tyron Matthew, who as far as I know is the only safety in the game right now that is able to get one step ahead. I wanted to have one step ahead at the linebacker position. So we're going to put Tyron Matthew there. And that's the only safety that I knew of that was able to get us. So that's why we got Tyron Matthew. And I believe that's the only other pickup that we had for the game. So we had three new pickups for the team. That's it. Now we're going to go over to the Billies for the offensive side of the ball. So getting over to the abilities i thought i felt like barry sanders backfield mismatch and backfield master were really important one of the metas right now on defense is playing man-to-man -man and having bench press now a running back's not gonna be able to get pressed out of the backfield so it's important to be able to utilize that running back with different routes so backfield master is able to get you the extra routes backfield mismatch if they're matched up with a linebacker is going to do a really good job so that's two really pluses that can avoid bench press altogether and then for the other for the other abilities, we have tight end apprentice still on uh, Joe Michael Finley, which also helps to beat man to man. And often oftentimes, again, the tight end is not going to get pressed. Reggie Wayne, route technician, just going to be good against man to man in general. And then route technician and outside apprentice for Marvin Harrison, just for the extra routes. And then route technician once again to help you beat those man to man defenders. It's a really common meta right now. You want to do the best that you can if you're one, if you're passing the ball to try to counter those things that they're doing on defense. And those are going to do some things that could be pretty positive for you. So now getting over to the defensive abilities, I wanted to go in depth on these. Defense was where I really wanted to focus here. We're starting off with Denzel Ward. Now, bench press and one step ahead is a really, really good combination. You don't have to have Denzel Ward to get that combination. Others get it as well. I'm pretty sure Rod Woodson gets it. Um, I'm pretty sure that uh, maybe there's Dre Bly gets that, I think. There's multiple that can get it. It does not have to be Denzel Ward. So keep that in mind. But those two together, you're going to get a really good press a lot of times from bench press. Then they're going to get pressed and make them tired. And then they're going to be one step ahead on any cutting routes like post, corner routes, stuff like that, and help you to get some interceptions or at least some knockouts. So that's going to be really effective. Then we have two other bench presses with Byron Jones and Rob Woodson. I felt like that was important to have simply because the more that we can make the receivers tired, the more effective it's going to be. I felt like that was important to get. So we have three bench presses out there. And then I already went over that we have one step ahead on Tyron Matthew. We're also using short route KO. This is the one ability that we're using on defense here that I have not tested yet. We had one extra AP. I've already used a lot of Acrobat. And I was like, you know what? The linebackers oftentimes might get matched up with a running back or with a tight end. So those are going to be short routes a lot, right? So if it's going to be short routes that they're guarding a lot of the time, maybe that'll help us knock it out. So I haven't tested that one yet. That's what I'm curious to see how it works. But that's the defensive side of abilities. That's what I'm going with right now. As you notice, they're, you probably notice that they're all for the pass, right? There's nothing I'm really doing for the run right now. The reason behind that is because there's not really any abilities that I really like to stop the run right now. I've used inside stuff. It was good. It wasn't great. I didn't feel like I wanted to use any AP on that. And then I've used Enforcer. So Enforcer, they did uh, lower it a little bit from the patch. So I got rid of Enforcer. I felt like I didn't need it as much anymore. If you want to use it, it's still going to be good. It'll still get you some more hit sticks. It's still nice to have. But I didn't want to spend three AP on it. If it was one or two, I would probably use it. But three was just a little bit much for me. So that's it for the team. We'll get over to the line. Uh, excuse me, to the to the playbooks here. 
Um, but before I did that, I did want to go over one last thing here. So I noted this in the last video, but I wanted to note it here again. We're using Tyree Kill as our wide receiver number four, and we're using Mark Clayton as our wide receiver number five. The reason behind that is because bench press will make your starting receivers tired at times, and I feel like it's important to have receivers that you feel comfortable putting in the game for a play here, a play there, whatever the case may be. I feel like that's important to have backups that you feel comfortable with. So that's why I wanted to note that. Definitely something that you want to look into. Now going over to the playbooks as we talked about, we're using Chargers offense still and multiple defense too, uh, still. Those two have not changed whatsoever. That's it for the team. Let's get into the game. Here we go with game one, and I actually recognize the gamer tech that we're playing against. The machine I played several times last year, beat me several times last year. It should be a good one. Here we go. Definitely excited for this one. We're going to be starting on defense. We played the machine several times last year. We won some. The machine won some. It definitely, definitely should be a good game. Definitely excited for this one. They're coming out on this trip side down here, so we have to be watching out for crossers from both the inside slots positions. And we, uh, there it is. I, I wasn't ready for it. I said we had to be ready for it. We weren't ready for it, but we have to be watching out for those crossers. A lot of things you can do on the trip side, and this is what we run as well. I have to be watching for those crossers. We have our purple set to 25 already. We have to watch for the inside zone and or the read option. Well, not and or, or the read option, whichever playbook they're in. But a lot of things you can do out of this formation. We have to watch a crosser from Y as well. I'm on this crosser this time. Oh, uh, it's going to be open. Oh, let's go. I, I, I thought they were going to have the other rock going across the field. Let's go. We've got our 25-yard purple out there this time. So that way we don't have to watch the cross ourselves. We can kind of lurk across the middle of the field. We're watching Tyree kill here. Watching Tyree kill. Nothing. Ooh, uh, the zig. Nice play. Nice play. Ooh, I was looking for a hit stick. We've got both of our one step aheads manned up right here. Doesn't seem like anything's there. Not getting any pressure, though. I don't want to send that spy and allow them to roll out. Oh, it's going to be a dot. It's going to be a dot. Oh, it's going to be a dot. They're in this goal line now, so we're just going to be playing the run. That's okay. I, if we can hold a three here, we'll be in a good spot. If they're going to be in this goal line, we're just going to have to play run defense. I should not have came out in nickel 335 there. I'm going to come out in nickel normal. If they come out on that goal line again, we're definitely going to come out in nickel normal. I feel more comfortable in this run defense than I do in nickel 335 if they're in like a heavy set like that. Oh, I didn't get my adjustments in. I didn't get my... Oh, it's a screen. It's a screen. Good job, Rob. Listen, I was not ready for the screen. If you watch my videos at all, if you watch me on Twitch... I am never ready for screens. I'm never ready for them. If I if I stop them, it's usually because my players made a play for me. Cross manning the, the I'm, I'm manning up both of the uh, crossing routes right here. B and Y are both manned up. I'm gonna put Wilson in the flat to make sure we don't give up anything out there. Watching this tight end. Oh, we gave up the tight end. I thought it was a corner route. Great dot. I thought it was a corner route. It was a post. We're not doing the best job on defense right now. We're trying hard. We're doing our best, but we're not doing a great job. We're actually going to run commit right here. It's goal line. We're run committing down. It's a pass. Nice play. Nice play. I said we were run committing. They pass. Not the star we won in the game. We have to answer right here. So this drive here is going to be mostly a feel out drive. We don't know how machine likes to play. Oh, I did not. I'm not in the right play. I am not in the right play. We did not set our audibles. I'm very big. You, you have to set your audibles. You don't have to. But I think it's really important to do. We're going to set them now uh, because I... Okay. I did set my audibles. I just called the wrong play. Not the start we wanted, but you know what? We're going to roll with it. We were able to get a first down. I wanted to just run the ball there. When we're not on a hash, I just like to run the ball. That way, you can just get to your hash. Your players are going to work the way that you want them to work. Because if you're not on a hash, they might work differently than the way that you lab them up, right? So that's why we did that. Wasn't what we wanted. Worked out anyways. That's perfectly cool. No spy. No spy. That's noted. No spy there. So we might have some space for Lamar this game. Gonna need to get about half this back right here. We're looking for our slander. Our post. We're gonna have the post. We're gonna have the post. We'll take it. I'm hoping this is a cover two right here. If this is a cover two, we might have something on the outside. No, nothing there. Nothing there. Just throw the ball away. We don't want to make any mistakes right here. We're actually looking for this curl out on the left side right here. I noticed a 25-yard purple on the last play. And there it is, right there. It was a 25-yard purple, so I did not think it was going to be able to play the curl on the outside because it doesn't go that deep. It doesn't go as far as the crossers and the deep post, or excuse me, the just regular post, corner, stuff like that. So that's why I put the curl out there. I was able to beat the 25-yard flat. Looking to keep here with Lamar, if possible. Nope, not going to be able to keep it. But Barry, but Barry, go. We'll take it. We'll take it. Definitely want to get seven on this drive now. We don't want to have to settle for three after we gave up seven to our opponent. We have this post. We have this post. Now we're inside the 10. It gets a little bit tough down here. This is where you like to run the ball. At least me. I like to run the ball down here. I think it's the it's easiest to just run the ball, not have to go against any of the zones because they're not going to the deep. And we're going to get in with Barry. All the zones, they don't have to be pushed back. You can't push the zones back anymore. Deep blues are not going to be pushed back because they have the end zone there, right? You don't want to have to worry about those zones. It gets a little bit tough down there. If you can just run the ball effectively like that, that works out well. 
You can't do it every time, but whenever you can, that works out well. We have to get a stop now. We're actually going to be mixing in man-to-man -man a little bit more here. I feel like we didn't use it much on that first drive on all of our players. And Denzel Ward's there. Good knockout, Denzel Ward. I think I, we didn't play enough man-to-man -man on that first drive. We tried to man up some players, but I feel like it's going to be a little bit more effective here if we can man up more. So that's what we're going to do. If we can adjust from there, take away the few man-beating routes that they do, whether crossing routes, corner routes, posts, stuff like that. Then you just have one or two things the user take away, and you should be able to get some pressure on them. So here we go. We'll see. There's a motion here. I got to watch for a slant. We'll post here. We're on it. We're on it. Let's go. I didn't get my spy. I didn't get my spy. We're doing the Yep, 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 yep. That's my mistake. That is my mistake. I wanted to get a spy in there. What we were going to say was we're going to do the same thing with a spy. We have purples on the outside. We didn't get the spy. When you're playing Lamar, when you're playing a fast QB, it's really important to get those spies out there. Oh, I didn't get my adjustments again again. Oh, Jamal, I thought I had a chance where I hit stick. We got to get our adjustments in quicker. When you're under two minutes, you actually can quick hike out of the huddle. You don't have to wait the time to adjust. So we have to get our adjustments in a little bit quicker. They're going back to the trip start end. That's cool. We're going to keep playing this uh, this man to man. I felt comfortable on this defense here. And we're going to go from there. If it if they start to dot it a little bit more, maybe we'll switch up. But until they do, I'm on Matthew. I did not want to be on Matthew. We got our spy in that time. We have a chance. Matt, Samuel, Samuel, go. go. If we can get a pick six, that would be great before half. One person to beat. Samuel! Oh, that's okay. We'll definitely take it now. We can actually clock out before half. I love the play. Let's go, Samuel. We're just going to this read option here. If we don't get in, we can take some clock. If we do get in, we'll take the touchdown. That's cool. We didn't get in. I'm actually going to sub in Bo Jackson. We have Bo Jackson here as a backup just for running situations when we know we're not going to actually want to pass. So I'm going to Bo Jackson on this read option. If we get stopped and go to third down and need to pass, that's when we'll go back to Barry. Um, Barry's a great running back. Great job running, great job receiving. But when we just want to run the ball, Bo Jackson's a little bit stronger. Might break a little bit more tackles, and we can definitely go with that. So they're in 3 3 5 right here. We should have this read option. I'm going to let the clock run down, then we'll see what we have. All right, let's see what they're doing. They're still playing the QB on the read option. Nice gap shoot. Really nice gap shoot. Bo Jackson was out, able to outrun there, but really nice gap shoot. What we're doing now is we're actually going to put our ball carrier on aggressive. We know we're going to run the ball on this third and goal. If we don't get in, we take the rest of the clock. If we do get in, we get a touchdown, which is really nice. So either way, uh, we'll definitely take it. We're going to go to this stretch here. But I wanted to go on aggressive just to give us an extra chance, break a few more tackles maybe with Bo and, and get in the end zone. We actually have Barry at fullback just to have a great speed to get out there. We're just going to run stretch. We get in, great. If we don't, we take the rest of this half. We have a lead at halftime. Go, Bo. Go, Bo. Didn't get in, but that's cool. We stayed in bounds. We'll let this clock run down. We'll take our three. It's our ball at halftime. We need one score at a halftime. So going into this drive, we really have two goals. The first goal is to get seven. If we get seven, we can take a, th a two possession lead, which is a great spot to be in in the second half. The other goal on this drive is to take as much clock as possible because if we can get up that two possessions and take a lot of clock, that leaves them less time to come back. So that's our two goals. We'll start off with the read option, get that clock moving, and then we can kind of go from there. Again, if they play the quarterback, I'll just keep handing off to Bo Jackson. I actually want to get Barry back in the game though for the passing downs. And they're doing a good job of shooting that gap. They're doing a very good job of shooting that gap. Whatever that is against the read option is very good. We're going to have to pass the ball here. We have to be ready for pressure here. No, they shifted their linebackers over. We're going to have the post again. Finley, great job, Finley. Finley's been a great, doing a great job all game for us. Big catch. We're looking for Harrison or Finley right here, whichever one they leave open. Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know if we could. I don't want to force any passes. I don't know if we could have fit that pass to Finley. I did not want to force it. I did think I noticed though that they had 25 yard purples on that left side again. So we're looking for our curl. I think we're going to have it. No, we're not. No, we're not. I don't know if that's because of the under pressure because the flat played it. But again, I said I didn't want to make any mistakes. We did make a mistake and it cost us right there. Uh, we have to get a touchdown now. We're in trouble. I don't know if that's because of the pass and accurate, but I actually think the flat might have just played it. That's on me. They've been playing pretty good defense against this read option, but we're going to go back to it here just because we're, on, we're not on a hash mark, which is what I like to be on. Okay, they weren't, they weren't ready to shoot the gap that time. We'll take the first down. I don't want to, we're not on a hash again, so I'm just going to go no huddle here. You don't want to not be on a hash. I've already explained why. You just want your plays to work the way that you want them to work. We're going back to Barry here. We're able to shoot the gap again. Go Barry, go Barry. Now we're on a hash mark. This has been the play that's been working for us most of the day here. We're going to go back to it. Ooh, really good user. Really good user. Don't make any mistakes. Great user right there. I did think I noticed there that they did not have a cloud flat on the left side, on the tight end side. They only had a hard flat and then a 25 yard purple. So what we're going to do here is we're going to look for this corner route to Finley. If it's not there, we can't force it. If that's what we're looking for on this play. Looks like it's there. Ooh, that was close. That was a big fourth down right here. I've got to make the read on this slant post here. I've got to make the read. I have to watch their user, whichever one they go to. We have to take the other one. We're going to have the slant. We're going to have the slant. Great catch there from Harrison. We really needed that. Hopefully we can get some time in the pocket right here. We're looking for our zig for our crossers. 
You're gonna have neither. We have that. We have the option on the playmaker though. Go Barry. Go Barry. Go Barry. Go Barry. Go. Let's go, Barry Sanders. Yes, we absolutely need that. We absolutely needed to get the lead back there. Now we need one more stop. We'll be in a pretty good spot. I actually forgot on that drive there to go off ball carrier aggressive. You want to make sure that you remember if you go to aggressive to take it off. We're watching Barry Sanders. We, we have Barry. Oh, we have Barry. Good hit by Jamal Adams. We were watching the running back right there. You have to know your assignment too when you're on defense, right? So right there, I knew I had the running back. Now I'm actually going to put Matthew on Barry Sanders so I don't have to watch it myself. Make sure we get that spy in for Lamar. That's really important too. We already gave up a big first down when Lamar scrambled. So here we go. Let's see what they're going to do. We're going to this man-to-man -man that's been pretty effective for us for most of the game with the purples out there. Shouldn't have that crosser there. Oh, good job. Byron Jones did a good job right there. Good effort. Huge third down here. Barry Sanders is mine here. We have to watch the running back ourselves. Oh, it's a run. It's a run. I was not ready for the run. Machine hadn't ran a run much all day. Really nice call. I didn't get my spy in here. I'm kind of going to use her spy. I'm watching myself. Ah... Ah, uh, that, that's on me again. I have to get that spy out there. That's the most important, it's not the most important, but one of the most important things out there right now is to get that spy in. It's a run here. It's a run here. We have a chance. Oh, we had a chance that I wasn't ready to shoot the gap. Goal line here, so we're, we're playing the run. We have, ooh, we had a chance at a hit stick right there. It's coming down to the wire here. Three point game, second and 10. If we can maybe get a sack right here or just a throwaway third and 10, get them in a third and long situation, we have a chance. We're gonna go back to the three, three, five. They're going back to the trips tight end here. We got to be ready for the run. We've got our spy in now. We've got our, we've got all the adjustments we want. We've got all the adjustments that we want. We'll see where it goes from here. I got to get one more adjustment. Nope. Ah, I'm stuck on the spy. Uh, I, went, I went for one. Oh, we had a chance. Ron Woodson. Do we have a chance to get up? Go, baby. Oh, we'll take it. Ron Woodson with the play. I'll be completely honest. I did not do a great job of adjusting that drive. I said the whole drive. The whole drive. I probably sounded monotonous. Get our spies in, get our adjustments through, and go from there. And we weren't. We weren't getting our adjustments in. I'm stuck on the spy on a big play. Rod Woodson makes the play for us. Now we have to make sure not to make any mistakes. I cannot throw an interception. If we have to take a sack or do, do whatever we have to do here not to make any mistakes, just like I said, that's fine. I do not want to force an interception here. I would obviously like to get a first down and win the game right here. But if we don't get it, we can take our we take their timeouts and try to win the game that way. We have the same plan here. I'm going to put routes out there. If they're open, I will throw them. If nothing's open, I'm not going to force it. We're actually going to have the seam. We're going to have the seam. I'm throwing it. Marvin! Marvin! Yes! Let's go. That's what I, that's what I wanted to do. Now, maybe that was a little bit risky but i felt like we had the seam is that going to be the game and that's going to be the game great game to machine i maybe maybe that was a risky throw to the scene but i felt like it was there we we're able to get the touchdown we we're able to win the game on the game two here we go with game two we're going to continue to try to break down as many adjustments as we can and try to get a win here we go we're going to be starting this one on offense here and that's cool we started on defense last time it's still going to be a feel out drive though just like before we're going to see what they like to do on defense they like the blitz play coverage what type of package are they coming out in all those things matter let's see what we can do it's looking like they're going to be using that uh disengaged defense if you want to if you want to do a good job against that you can run pa plays that'll help you a lot we're gonna see. It looks like it looks like it's man-to-man -man coverage with this with this uh, a gap defense, and we might have it. We might have it. We might have Marvin. Oh, great knock! I thought we were gonna have Marvin there. I wanted to try to see if we can get a deep pass off. That's perfectly cool. It didn't work out for us. We'll go back to it at some point. It looked like it could have been there, but we'll we'll feel out this drive and see if they continue to play man-to-man -man or if they'll mix in some zone. We unfortunately got a delay a game. Also, not what we wanted to do. We might have this over the top. No, we'll just take our crosser. We'll take our crosser. Go, Marvin. Go, Marvin. Good job, baby. Now we're going to see how this defense is against the read option. Ooh, it doesn't look that great. It doesn't look that great. They did get a block. Go, Barry. They did get a block yet, but it looked like there were some gaps there for us to use. We're going to go back to this read option here right again. We're going to do it again. We, we have to make them respect that run, right? If it's a good run and they're in a defense that's not going to be great against it, we have to make them respect that run. So we're going right back to the read option here. We might even keep with Lamar. With this look, it looks like we could definitely keep with Lamar. We're keeping it. We're keeping it. We're keeping it. Nice click off really nice click off if they didn't click off and they hit with the running back that might have been a touchdown this has been a little bit of a struggle drive for us we're gonna try to get this fade over the top right here we're gonna have cooks we have cooks cooks one right there good catch from cooks i thought they got over the top i thought that actually might have been a touchdown we'll definitely take the first down on a third and 19 for sure every single time now we're going back to this read option here we're gonna we're gonna make them have to respect it because that run was definitely there before 
They did a good job of clicking on. Ooh, that was a lot better than last time. Now that we're in the red zone here, instead of having to play against the pa uh, play against that man to man, we're just gonna go to the run here, run this stretch, see if we can find some success with it. See if we can find some success with it, and we got a touchdown. Struggle drive for sure. Definitely made us work, but we'll take the seven. Now we need to stop. We're coming out on this single back trips here. Very effective formation. They can do a lot of things against man to man, a lot of things against zone. They can also run the ball. So we're gonna have to watch for everything here. Gonna be a fill out job. We're gonna see what they like to do. Pass the ball more, run the ball more, because you can definitely do both out of out of this formation. That cross was probably gonna be there. Unless Matthew. Ooh, that was close. Good read. We're gonna continue to try to mix up our coverages here. We don't need to really worry about spying. They have Dan Marino. So unless they start to hurt us, we're not gonna really put that spy. It allows us to have three rushers out there. Doesn't look like anything's there. Oh, what a pass lead. What a pass lead. What knockout? Yes, great knockout. Amazing pass lead. I like this coverage that we have. We're gonna make sure we have a deep half this time so that they cannot get that deep pass to hill like they did before. Crosser should be taken away by the purple. I'm watching the other crosser. Nothing's there. I'm gonna go with Adams. Hit stick. Ooh, good job holding RB. The cover up the ball. Nice play. No real reason to switch up our coverage right here. I like the way that it was working. If they motion across, we'll have that deep half again just in case they go to that hill pass. That should take it away. The crosser should be taken away as well. Oh, what a read. Small window. Great read. Oh, we gave up the fourth down and long. Great play. Great play. We have to try to get another stop. I'm not even really sure what I meant by another stop because we didn't get a stop the first time. They picked up the fourth down. But I like our defense still. I feel like it's doing a good job. We just have to do a better job using right there. If I'm in the right spot using, we would have stopped that. Jamal! Ooh, that was close. That was close. Same thing. We're continuing to put that deep path. If we can take away Hill and just use her everything in front. Oh, it's a stretch. I told you this thing had some good runs in it. They have a dive. It looked like they have a stretch. There's some good runs out of this form. Gotta watch the run here again. Any stretches, any dives. If they have to pass, we need to lurk that angle route from before. The angle route was what got open against us last time. I'll be watching for it. No angle route this time. Oh, Matthew, that was close. That was close. I'll be ready for the run here. They actually subbed in another running back. So they have two running backs right now. That might mean they're looking to run the ball. It doesn't necessarily because Bo Jackson can be a viable receiver. Okay, they're passing. Nothing's there, though. Nothing's there. Send that, send that player. Oh, oh, I missed it. That's all my fault. I had a chance at it and I missed. We have two purples out there this time. So I have to watch the middle myself. It's a run. It's a run, good tackle. We're actually putting a hook curl out there this time. I feel like we might need some help in the middle of the field. That's where we might have struggled a little bit. Oh, it's another run. Smart play to try to waste the clock here. Definitely a smart play. If we don't get another first down, we will get the ball back, but it's smart to take 30 seconds from us. They actually went to this jumbo package. Hopefully we can stop any runs from it. We, ooh, we almost did it. Are they gonna go for this on the fourth and one? Are they gonna go for it? I don't know. If they, I have to, if they, if they try to go for it, I'm playing full run. I might even run commit. Let's see what they're going to do. And they're actually going to go for it. So we're going to play full run right here. I'm going to run commit. I'm bringing this spy over. We're going to run commit. And hopefully we can get in the backfield. Hopefully we can get in the backfield. No, no. At least it wasn't in the end zone here. Make them take more time. Maybe make them have to take a field goal right here. I really wanted that stop though. Run commit again. Oh, the run commit worked. The run commit worked. Yes, this is the chance. This is our chance to hold a three here. Let's see what they're going to do. But this is our chance to hold a three. The, the run commit, I didn't do anything. Our players made the play, but I love that they just came in the backfield like that. This is their last chance. They're going to have to probably take a timeout if they don't get in right here. It's a pass. The pass, great read. Amazing read right there. I was not ready for that play. Good call. Well, we had our chances in that first half. We had a fourth and long, made a mistake and gave it up. We had a chance at an interception, didn't do a good job usering, gave that up as well. And then we had a, a second and goal from the four in the last play, gave that up as well. So we had our chances. We didn't get them. We need to stop to start this half. Got to be ready to stop the run right here, but we have to continue to keep that deep half to make sure Hill cannot get over the top on the crosser. Nothing. Oh, I couldn't get there with the lurk. I couldn't get there with the lurk. Ready for the run right here. We're ready for the run. I feel like it's going to be a run play. If we can get in the backfield, it gives us another chance to try to get a stop. We gotta keep, like I keep saying, I keep saying, keep that deep path. Do not allow them to get over the top with Hill. Nothing. Oh, great late read right there. Great late read. This time, I feel like it's going to be a run. We got to be ready for it. Oh, good tackle. Good tackle. Good tackle. Continuing to watch this motion across right here. We have to watch the running back on this angle route. We're on it. We're on it. Pick, pick, yes! We needed that, we needed that pad. We need blocks. Oh, wow, I really wanted a pick six. We'll take the stop. We have to get some points here. Hopefully we can make a quick read here because we're not in PA to stop this. I missed the post read, I missed the post read. I gotta make that post read right on the cut. I'm looking for the post this time. It was there before and I missed it. We have it now, possession catch. Good job, Finley. We're going back to this standard post play. It worked for us before. 
Oh, I wanted to lob that for a touchdown. I really wanted to try to lob that for a touchdown. We don't want to make any mistakes here. I didn't really want to take a timeout right there, but I felt like we had to. It was a really, really big play. And if we don't get this first down, we could be in trouble. Low pass. Nope. Ooh, not the best read. I thought maybe we could low pass. This is a big fourth down. I feel like we have to go for this. I took another timeout, but I like the play that we have. If we can get this first down, we're going to be in a great spot. We have our zig. Possession catch. Yes. I know we took two timeouts right there getting that first down, but I think it was worth it. We need to make sure we get some points on this drive, and that's the most important thing right now. I know it's not ideal to take our timeouts in this position, but at the end of the day, we got to take them when we need to take them, right? I like the way this read option's been working for us here. I'm going to continue to try to go for it, try to take some clock here. We really need seven. That's the most important thing, but if we can take some clock with us, that's even better, right? So that's even better. We're going to continue to try here. We're going to go back to the street option until they stop it. I might look to keep with Lamar at some point, but they're doing a good job of using and clicking off and taking that away. But Barry Sanders, but Barry Sanders. Yes, Barry Sanders has made some big plays for us. Now we're up seven. We need one more stop. The biggest thing on this drive is not to give up any easy touchdowns. So I'm keeping that deep half out there. Nice read. I'm keeping that deep half out there to make sure that we don't give up anything over the top. We got to keep everything in front. That was a little bit more yards than I wanted to give up right there. But again, keeping everything in front is the most important thing here. It's a stretch. It's a stretch. Jamal, I missed the hit stick. We got to be ready for that run then now. Stretch again. Stretch again. The stretch is going to be trouble. This stretch is going to be trouble. I'm going to have to use the other linebacker. We're trying to use the linebacker on the tight end side right now. That's not going to work for us. We have to use the other linebacker. Hopefully this does a little bit better job. We're using the backside linebacker now. If they go back to that stretch, we still have the deep half out there. But if they go back to it here... It should do a little bit better job. It's a run play this time. It's a run play. Ooh, I went for the hit stick. Ready for this stretch left right here. That's what the main thing that we're watching. If they motion over hill, we'll, we'll put the deep half there just in case. But for the most part, we're just watching to make sure we don't give up this stretch. There it is. A little bit better, but still not, still not ideal. Still not ideal. We got to do a little bit better job. We're switching up the defense here. We're actually going to go to this nickel normal. I feel like this will do a little bit better job against the run. Hopefully I'm right about that. If I'm not... We'll go from there, but it looks like it's going to do a better job. There we go. That's a little bit better. Oh, I got stuck. I got stuck. No, I missed it. I missed the hit stick. We got stuck right there. That's not where you want to be. But you know what? We had the last drive. Tie game here. We had the last drive. We need to score. It definitely would be nice to have our timeouts right here, but we still have some time. We still have some time. So we're going to have this crosser. Cooks cooks yes this setup has worked for us all game long we're going back to it here we're looking for both of our crossers we have our zig we have our zig go go harrison that's fine we're gonna go to the read option and spike here we have two downs to run the ball i just want to make sure we get the first down and go from there we have two downs to get it i'm gonna get on the ball here i don't know if they're gonna run commit right i don't think that they're gonna run commit if they do great play by them i don't think they will we're going to it Barry, yes. Now we can spike. Now we can spike and take our time. We need about 10 yards right here. Maybe like eight, somewhere around there. But hopefully we can get one of our crossers. We're going to have it. Finley. Finley. Yes. Great catch. I was a little bit nervous about that flat zone. But here's what we're going to do. We're just going to we're just going to take a knee. Uh, we're actually, no, we're going to run the ball. And then we're going to, uh, we're just, just going to spike. We're just going to spike. We shouldn't get any more runoff than we need to. We'll just run the ball here. Try to take the rest of the clock and then we'll spike. That's all we need to do. No mistakes here. Just run. Let's see if they call timeout. Okay, they're going to call timeout. Now, we definitely want to make sure that we don't accidentally call a play, waste all the time, and not get our field goal off. We should, we, I don't think I can run the ball here because I'm not going to have time to spike. They'll probably let the clock run. I feel like we have to kick now because I don't have time to spike. I don't have timeout. But if I ran the ball, you'd have to go back to the huddle, call field goal, and at that point, we don't know what the clock's going to be looking like, right? So, Got to be safe here. Honestly, with the amount of time that's left, 18 seconds. They're going to probably have 14 after this field goal. One timeout, that's tough to do as long as we don't give anything deep. We got to do our best here not to give up anything on the sidelines, not allow anything to get bounds. We're going to sp we're gonna sky kick to the right to make them take even more clock or make them fair catch it one or the other. It doesn't really give them a chance for a kick return. So, again, nothing out of bounds. I'm going to have my flats outside taking away all of that because they didn't fair catch. That's fine. They're taking even more clock right here. They can use the middle of the field because they do have the one timeout, but I want to protect the silence to make sure that they have to take that timeout on the first play. So we're going to set these to 25, and we're going to call cover three, and we're going to have as many things on the sideline as we can have. So call so cover three cloud. Put this purple out there. Shade up. Make sure we don't give anything deep so we put our deep halves. This is about the best we can do. The best we can do. We won't give up anything over the top, hopefully. 
I'm watching this right side. I'm watching Hill on like an outside post or anything like that. Let me get that out right to the sideline. Not what we wanted to do. This time we made sure to have a cloud flat out there to not give up any out routes or anything like that. I gotta watch Hill again. I have to watch Hill again right here. You know, we're actually gonna man up Hill. We're gonna man up Hill and I'm actually gonna use her Garrett. I know it's not the probably the smartest play, but I don't think I need to really take away anything that's too across the middle, right? Right there, the man up did a good job. The man up did a good job knocking that out. That might have been open if we didn't man that up. Now they have four seconds. That pretty much is the last play of the game. I don't think that they can run anything out of that. So I'm going to put this cloud flat here again. Put that purple there. Put the purple there. I don't think that they can run a play. I don't think they can run a play and still get the timeout off. We'll see. And that's going to do it. Let's go. What a game. What a game. Such a fun one. I hope you all enjoyed it. That is going to do it for the video. Again, I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Only if you want to. I appreciate you all. I love you all. Take it easy. Peace. Wow. After those games, I am completely drained.